All right. In this video, I want to talk about shirts. How often you should wash your cotton shirts. There's a lot of shirts out in the market now. A lot of uh, pricey, expensive cotton shirts. And the truth is, those shirts, once they run through the washing machine, they're gonna they're gonna get killed, fading, all kinds of a uh, wear and tear. So uh, this here's a this is an LL Bean shirt. I, bought not too long ago this is a uh, it's got a wool cotton blend it's a uh, wool on the outside cotton on the inside but this is gonna get killed in the washing machine so far I haven't washed it yet I've worn this about 10 times but I usually wear a t-shirt underneath and I just wash the t-shirt so so far you know it's winter it's cold out I'm not sweating in it that smell so why am I gonna wash it? I can prolong the life. Maybe uh, you know after the winter season I'll just uh, give it one wash. It's not too much soap. Just soak out any debris or whatever that got collected inside the fabric. And that's it. And next year it'll uh, still should look new next year so that's one example. And in the summer that's the problem in the summer. You're not going to be, uh, you got to wash shirts in the summer because you're sweating. So, in the summer, I usually wear these, uh, I wear polyester shirts. These are surprisingly comfortable. This is a Henley. This thing, it's been through the washing machine dozens of times, still comes out like new. So, I say in the winter, go for the cotton t shirt underneath. And in the summer, polyester is another one. This is a, uh, under Armour. This had to been to the washing machine at least 50 times. That is about four years, maybe. And it looks new. And uh, what else I got here? Here's another one. Had this. <clears throat> this is a. quarter zip shirt from REI, the company REI. I bought this five years ago. So this is this has been through the washing machine over fifty times. Still looks new. This was about forty dollars when I bought it. So might well spend so and what else I got here? I got this uh, cashmere. This I actually washed this one time. I put it in a dry by accident trunk. So it still fits me, but I put it in the dryer accidentally. But it's still good. So I'm not planning to wash this for a while. Maybe give it a soak next year. Same thing. T shirt underneath. No reason to wash these. Uh, so you, you've seen a lot of these. Uh, Expensive t-shirts coming out, $50, $100 or more. Cotton shirts. And what guarantee do you have those are gonna, you're gonna get your money's worth of that? I say go for the polyester. This was from, I got these on Amazon, these Henleys. I got different colors of these. These are about $20. These things will last about five years. This polyester shirt, so. They're comfortable. They got a uh, Wiccan properties that are Good for sweating, comfortable, uh, look good too. I don't see any reason to buy a hundred dollar t-shirt or other type of shirt for the summer. So winter, I'll spend the money on a cashmere or a, this, this L. Bean Henley was a. Uh, this was about I think it's eighty dollars. Yeah, it goes on sale sometimes. You can get it cheaper. This is a. This is a good shirt. So. I want to try and make it last a few years. So. And I think uh, less washing will prolong the life. Got this uh, heavy uh, mock neck, eight ounce jersey fabric. This was about fifty dollars, fifty five dollars, made in USA. Haven't washed this. Just a t-shirt underneath. That's it. No smell. 
it smells okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this looking new too. That's it. Why waste money? Every year, new shirts. No. Keep these things a few years and that's it. Save money. Just some, uh, just a thought on that.